All right, so I'm about to wash my Wrangler YJ after taking it off-roading because I'm about to have this thing expelled. And it is going to make sure that my paint, which is actually beautiful under all this dirt, as you'll soon see, remains in great shape even when I take it off-road. So uh, let's hit it. Oh, yeah. I brought my Jeep to 405 Motoring here in Inglewood where they're working on some truly incredible cars, celebrity cars even. They're gonna give me a tour and then they're gonna show me how Expel paint protection film, PPF, is installed. It's a bit of an art. Oh, the Ranchero. Yeah. Oh, this thing kind of stands out. You've got all these incredible exotics and then you've got this. It needs to be clean. Yeah, that's part of our process. You can be honest with me. There are some... All right. You recently got it painted though. It has been painted. Is it harder to work on a, a car that has so few like flowing curves? It's kind of like, I mean, it's, it's an old Jeep. It's pretty like flat sides and stuff, but, so, there, but then you got all these, all this stuff that's protruding. And so the, the challenge on this car will very likely be the front end because of how intricate, well not necessarily intricate, but how so many individual. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, There's a lot going on there. Yeah, no, I was very worried that you come out here and be like, dude, go home, <laughs> go home. I deal with much better cars and you do, but. Car's a car, as long as it's paid, and you know. Uh, I was happy to see the Range Arrow out back. I was like, <laughs> "Woo, okay, they're not gonna turn me away necessarily." I'm here in the clean room of 405 Motoring, That's where it all goes down. We've got some expel going on this old 911, um, and I'm here with Johnny, uh, explaining how how this is all working here. So, so it looks like there's a wet application. So we use baby soap as the slip solution, which is the majority of what's used to install film. When it comes to like really like special Shapes. exclusive cars, mm -hmm. just older cars in general, if we're lucky, the system we use is called DAP. It's an expo program. If we can't find the exact car, we'll find like a rough estimate and then we'll just extend like anything here, just a lot more than like the original cut. So they have a program that gives you the, the shapes? Exactly. And is there a machine that'll that'll just cut the shapes? Yeah. We have a water machine. Oh, I would love to see that. All right, who am I with here? Uh, my name's Elias from 45 Motor. Uh, I run the social media of this shop. Elias. Yes. The content king, Elias. <laughs> okay, the cutter, this is gonna be exciting. Yeah. So I actually thought that you just did it all by hand, but this makes a lot more sense. Yeah, so we have a program up on here. Basically the program just shows us what car that we're doing. It'll cut it out exactly, run it through the program through here, and then everything will come out. You guys put the film right here, go through here, it'll cut it. So the, the, this is some film here? Yes. Okay, look at that. Some raw film, man. We got, a lot of, we got a lot of film, as you can see. Wow, okay, look at all that. <laughs> so, do you have an example of like a, a sheet that's been cut? It's a GC3 hood. So they mark it with tape right on there. Look at that. Yeah. Yeah, I could tell, you know, it's just like one. Yeah, and then this is the full piece of the hood. I don't know if you can see it right here. Uh, I can see that, yeah, look yeah. at that, look at that. You can see, up close, you can see that little cut. Mm. Wow. So that cut is around the whole thing. That's have cool. Have you seen our, our showroom? Uh, let's have a look. So we have a 635 LT. It is fully, has full PPF, full center of tint, everything done to it. This one is a TJZ Supra. It's kind of funny, we have the joke right now. Uh, you know the TJZ? The two, of course, the two Jay Z. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you're familiar with the TJZ. So we got pictures of Jay Z. Uh, the engine is out right now because it just got repainted, top secret gold. And we also got the GT3 RS 4.0. That one is also full car PPF. Okay, we're gonna walk around my Jeep. It has been, half of, half of it's been PPF uh, by Johnny here. You did all the Johnny? Okay, first off, let me just note that this thing is actually way cleaner than I ever knew it was. Like, look at this hood. It actually glistens. It did not, when I drove in here, I mean, this is, they had to remove a bunch of stuff, which must have been Pain in the butt. The PPF also does a lot more to bring out the film. This is essentially like another layer of clear film. It looks beautiful. So, so the fender's have... done, hood's done, this quarter panel's done, along with the Is this car worse than average for stuff you have to take off? Or? Uh, it's pretty straightforward because 
being a Jeep, everything's exposed, like all the bolts and all that. Right. Also, did you guys clean these? Like these look even really yeah, nice. I, I had to take a rag to it and really scrub it more than the wash guys did because um, it's more insurance for me. Like if any grease or anything gets on the film, it's like impossible to take off. And oh, right. You would have to redo it and all that. Okay, so you got to make sure everything is clean because if you grease on that, you got to get a whole new piece. Yeah, that's why you're... <laughs> yeah, it was a surprise to me when I popped the hood. I'm like, dang. Because <laughs> I off road this thing. Yeah, that's nice. So, on this thing, you had to make all custom. Yep. Everything pretty much was laid as like a blank canvas, like this. Once it's laid, like, say I don't want to start on this bumper with everything disassembled, I just lay the film on. Um, not like this, but with like soap and all that. Mm -hmm. And then tack it. Just to stick it to like each corner and just start putting it into the into the shape of the car. Your car actually has um, 10 mil PPM, so it's thicker than say this car has. It's actually a full car too. You have a film versus this one and that one. Like when it comes to cutting, it's a lot, a lot more difficult. All right, so this thing I can just bash through the woods and I'll be good. Awesome. So this door has been done. You have to take it apart, which is oh god, that sucks. Anything can be removed, it, it should be removed okay. for a better, cleaner install. So we still have to do this left side. Oh my gosh, look at how that hood looks. All right, well, I'm excited and uh, we're gonna show the actual application process when it's ready, but uh, to be clear, what I'm doing here is I'm building a Jeep that I can beat the crud out of off-road and not have to worry about any sort of paint issues. So this is just the beginning of, of, of a war path for this poor Jeep. All right, we're about to see a first step of laying laying film, as it's put. So this is the board. Yes, sir. So in a normal, like a normal case, normal car with treat this and all that, you put the backing sheet, we call it. And it's like a regular sticker you'd expect. So, back so we peel off the excess and then we reveal the pattern of the car. But in this case, we have like a bulk of film here. Because there's no, there's no pattern for my car, right? That's right. And so I'm gonna just, um, Separate it from the back of the sheet here, and we use baby soap, and we call this floating. Floating is the removal process? That's right. Industry lingo. So the backing sheet will just stick to the board. That's right. And the baby soap keeps it nice and so it won't stick to each other. Oh, right, yeah. Yeah, so here, this has all been done. It's very hard to tell. Wow, yeah, it's really hard to tell. Look at that, you could barely see a tiny bit in there, but. And then the hinges, look at how tight that is. Look at that, you have to really get close. It's super tight. Coming up is the transfer process it requires two sets of hands in this case, because they're the big piece. So just doing the cuts on vehicle is the move here, huh? Does that make things hard, this protruded Jeep emblem? Uh, actually, so yes and no. For the most part, a lot of shops just like to cut it around because mm -hmm. it is sort of difficult to get it down. Yep. But it just takes some patience. And I got the other side over here if you want to So I thought we're like, I was just gonna cut just around the emblems, but I managed to get all the film down. There might be some like moisture left around, like this here. For so this is all one piece over top of everything? Holy crap, you did it. It takes a lot of like, um, using your fingers and yeah. trapping the film. It's, and It's hard to see, there are only like just a couple of bubbles in there. And who knows, those might. And those are easily popable with these needles right here. And I just keep on following because with this, it just tends to want to just keep coming back if you don't follow it the right way. Wow. Okay, yeah. I essentially lay as much as I can, and then that's when I start cutting away. I bet your phone screen cover is the most perfect lay of all time, huh? <laughs> You'd be surprised it isn't. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so now we just start squeezing everything off in a way. Just get all that air out. Right. And then, since I'm gonna have to tuck this and this, I'm gonna cut right in between these two. 
Okay. Versus cutting here. Yeah, right. Because otherwise you try to get some overlap on both. Right. It's That's kind of a complex so shape in a way, this hinge. It is. And then you can't really make yeah. a mistake by cutting because then if you're too short and you can't fix it, you would have to reprint this whole side. So your blade actually gets dull? Yeah. If you do enough of this, it'll dull your blade? That's right. Wow. And if this stuff is dulling blades, it's, it's going to definitely keep <laughs> trees off my paint. All right, Johnny is going to go for the grill. So for these ridges here, you see how I put it down here? And you're going to have a fold because it's because it's bent, right? Right. So, so you'll, maybe you cut I'm going to start here, get to here. It's going to be excess film that's going to bunch up. Mm -hmm. And that's what we call a seam. Mm -hmm. And so you just make a slit, overlap the PPF oh. to one another, and it'll just get rid of that pretty much. Oh, that's fantastic. So now, how many more times? <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> so I'll be here a while. <laughs> All right, I'm picking up the Jeep. I'm back at 405 Motoring, and it's been through the PPF application process. We've got Expel on this thing. Oh, I'm getting my first look. This is it, the first look at the Jeep. Holy crap, how is this even possible? This is unbelievable. Holy smokes. This is insane. East, I'm in awe of what you've done. Yeah, it's protected for 10 years. You know, any type of abuse you throw at it, it should be able to withstand it. 10 um, years, huh? So it's time for me to yeah. kind of beat the crap out of this thing and exactly. see how it does. Exactly, yeah. So, you know, obviously this thing looks minty. And now that it's got PPF on it, if I take it out mudding, is it now easier to clean? Is it different? It is, yeah. The film itself is already hydrophobic. Mm -hmm. um, so it'll be super easy to clean. You had a sticker here, but I took that off. Like, yeah, it's I've got plenty of those. It's still on your dash in case, uh, in case you do want to keep it. How, how do stickers adhere to PPS? Uh, just the same. Just the same? Anything a little bit even better. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Great. So I can throw that bumper, that Autopian bumper sticker on. A new one. Here's the, uh, you guys even took care of the bumper sticker. Like, it's in a nice shape. I can't believe how incredible this Jeep looks. This was a hundred thousand. 190,000 mile Jeep that I did not spend a ton of money on and it had been repainted, but I wasn't sure how good it, the paint was. And obviously it wasn't amazing paint, but you you got every single bit of shine out of it. Thank you very much, Johnny. Yeah, of course. You got it.